Welcome back to Passionate About Music Education. I'm Rachel Hardman. And if you've ever wondered about what it's like to teach abroad, well, in this episode, I'm going to explore it in more detail with you. So let's talk about the pros. I've worked abroad now for 10 years, five years in Switzerland and five years in Bermuda. And I have to say, there's been lots and lots of benefits. One of them, as you can see, is this beautiful, beautiful beach. But actually nobody on it, apart from me. So here I am making a video on the beach. Um, it's the, the opportunity to travel and to see amazing parts of the world that you might not be able to get to see unless you just go on your two week vacation. So I get to hang out in Bermuda and enjoy all the life, the countryside, the beauty of it, the nature every day. I get to work with new colleagues, I get to learn new curriculums, I get to try out new ways and methods of teaching music and to explore new opportunities for my own personal growth. So there's lots of amazing opportunities when you work abroad. You get to meet new people from different parts of the world and learn from them. So it's, it is a really cool experience working abroad. And if you've ever considered it, you should really give it a go. But if you're gonna consider it, there are a couple of things you need to think about. One of the things you need to think about is the setup costs. It's quite expensive to move from your own country and come and live abroad. So you do need to have some savings, some safety net for that beginning stage. One of the other things that you might find is obviously you've got to learn new ways of you know, education systems and although that's generally quite easy to pick up, you might find that some of the things that were really easy where you were and things that are common practice in your country aren't common practice. So you might find some frustrations there. One of the other considerations is that you get to meet amazing people, amazing colleagues. You do have to generally leave your family behind, which can be at times a bit lonely and it also means that if there's anything, any time that you need to get back, it's not always easy and I suppose over the last two years that's definitely been the case for, for most people who are working internationally. I suppose the saddest part about most of living internationally is the inability to be able to settle and that does depend of course on what kind of passport you have and which country you come from. But for instance, here in Bermuda, however beautiful it is, being an expat, I cannot stay here permanently because of uh, being on a work visa. So that kind of always leaves you in this sort of little limbo of, do I go home, do I go somewhere else? So you always need to think about that if the job ends or the work permit ends, then you have to probably leave that country and have that sort of you know, expectation that you might have to go on and find a new job, either internationally or back home. Also, those are generally the cons, but the pros, the experience, the way you grow, not just as an educator, but as a person is huge. So the benefits of personal growth are huge. So don't ever underestimate what you will get from it, not just as an educator, but as a person. Being able to learn to ski, I've been able to uh, see parts of the world on water. I've, I've met amazing teachers and colleagues, students, uh, people outside of education been able to travel to parts that I would never have gone to uh, from the UK. I know I'm a better educator for it so if you're considering a career internationally then don't put it off for too long, go do it, go experience it, go check out what your passport will allow you and where it will allow you to go and live and then maybe you will be making a video talking about how awesome teaching is internationally. I'm Rachel Hardman and this is Passion About Music Education.